it's tough to see those false starts, but what do you think kind of contributed to that? What have you guys done to kind of make sure it doesn't happen again? Well, we're just training it um, extra hard in practice. You know, stuff like that is things that can cost you the game, and obviously it had a big effect on the ASU game. Um, it's just, you know, it's no different uh, of a mistake of, you know, blocking the wrong guy. It's just another mistake we got to clean up. Uh, too many mistakes from last game, and um, we're doing everything we can to fix them. What is, specifically do you do to try to clean up Paul Stars? Um, well, we're, you know, we got music playing in the background, so it's hard to hear um, the claps sometimes. Um, we're clapping every time, even in walkthroughs, we're doing claps. Um, so really just every time we snap the ball, um, it's just another opportunity to train for it. Has it helped these last two games? You'll be at the Rose Bowl, so presumably you, know, you won't have to deal with crowd yeah. noise on offense. Yeah, that helps. Um, but really it just comes down to um, us um, being able to handle techniques and all that stuff. Because um, whether you can't, you should be able to hear the clap no matter what. Um, so we need to be able to snap the ball. We need to be able to all go off the ball. Um, but yeah, definitely going to help being at the Rose Bowl. Um, being in our home field for the last two games, especially this USC game, is going to be fun. How would you kind of evaluate the offensive line overall? I know that you guys kind of took a step up when Boss came back. How, how do you feel like you guys have kind of played uh, as you look back over the whole season? Well, we, we're like a big effort group. Like these guys out here that we're practicing with, we're going full speed all the time. Nobody's like, you know, going half speed. The thing is just experience. Not, a lot of, not everybody has a lot of experience. We're still learning. We're still getting better. Um, and when you're still getting better, you're going to have mistakes. So that's really where it's at right now. We're still making mistakes, but we're getting a lot better and we're really improving. You guys, you subbed out, I think, for the third quarter. That wasn't injury, right? That was just kind of like a, a road No, road yeah, road. Coach Fry just wants to get some new guys in there. Um, he's playing um, some of the freshmen and some of the um, uh, redshirt freshmen. So he's just, yeah, switching guys up. How do you think those guys have done uh, in, their, in their limited time? To get I think through? they've done well. I mean, Sam. Uh, I think it was his first or second game playing. He did really well, and Alec was his first time ever playing, and he handled it really well. And um, whether we put other guys in there next week or this upcoming uh, Saturday, um, I guess we'll see. But yeah, Coach Fire really wants to switch guys in and out. What do you see from USC's defensive line? Uh, they're big. Um, they're strong. Uh, you know, they they play hard. That's for sure. Um, we just gotta be locked in on our technique, and we can handle it. Coach Kelly's been here almost a full year now. What would you say are the biggest changes in the program that he's kind of implemented? I think he's definitely been more strict on the players um, in terms of like uh, our character. Um, he really stresses the, the classroom. That's a big thing for him is we have study hall hours, we have mentor meetings, we have tutoring. We have tons of stuff to help us in the classroom. And he thinks and everyone thinks that a large uh, part of being a good team is being good in the classroom. He's shown us statistics where um, teams that have a bread in the classroom generally do better on the field. So that's a big uh, thing that he's changed. And just sort of the environment has just been more, uh, we've been more appreciative of the things he's given us. So, yeah. I know you're just looking forward to the USC game, but how does the season bode for next season as an offensive line laying the groundwork yeah. for next season? Yeah, well, hopefully everybody's coming back. I don't think we have anyone leaving. Um, if we do have anyone leaving, we have great backups. We got a lot of solid guys that can play next year. Um, I think we're going to be really good next year. I think, you know, I think the, the changes we've made from week one until now are pretty huge. And I think, you know, once the season's over, some of our guys, including myself, we're going to look back on, you know, some plays, some times in the season where we were like, why did we do that? You know, why did we miss that block? Stuff like that. And it's just gonna, we're just gonna think about it, you know, we're gonna fix it, and then next year I think we're gonna be a lot better. Some of the younger guys in that you come to know now in yeah. practice, who, who can you see those among those guys contributing next year, like John Gaines? And yeah, some of those guys? I think John is gonna be good. I think Alec um, is also gonna be pretty good. I think uh, a lot of the young guys actually are like very talented. They're like, Barack is very talented. Um, all those guys are very talented, they just have to um, get a little more experience under their belt. Um, you know, in high school, it's not uh, as strict the practices and all that. So you kind of get uh, recruited more off of talent uh, as opposed to like technique and stuff like that. So I think once they get a year under their belt, once they get not a full off season, uh, their techniques can improve a lot, and I think we're going to be able to see um, their potential. Are you going to lobby for a guy like Andre James to come back to try to like, you know, what you guys?
guys could be if, if everybody yeah. comes back. Yeah, that'd be great to get Andre back. Um, I'm not sure what he plans on doing right now. Uh, I know he loves UCLA. I know he loves all the guys here. So hopefully he stays. Um, like I said, if, if he doesn't, then we got people to back him up. Uh, might not be as good as him, but we got people to back him up. How's Murph doing in his comeback uh, trying to play this season? Yeah, well, he's trying his best to get back on the field. He's, you know, he's he had a rough career with his knees. So uh, he's doing everything he can. He's taking reps now. So that's good to see. Um, hopefully we can get him back. But uh, as of right now, he's just treatment and uh, training now. So, yeah. What was it uh, like to be out there and contributing uh, to the game? It was a good time. We prepared all week, and it was just—it was a blast to uh, actually be out there and contribute to a, contribute to the team. Did you have a sense that that was coming uh, leading up to the game, or? Um, no. We just each and every day we just worked harder and harder and prepared, and we just keep preparing. So whenever the opportunity arises, we sink to our level of training. You have to have a feeling, though, when you're not in a scout team jersey and you're in a regular jersey, that you have maybe a better chance of playing. Uh, no, because I feel like um, we were uh, a little low, like on players. Uh, so both people have like play in the game, also play on scout team, and we. So whenever the situation occurs, we just keep working and we're always prepared. Even when we're on scout team, we still go to team meetings and we're all focused and ready. They were saying on the broadcast. I didn't see this. Uh, that you may, have, you may have saved our name from a some kind of <laughs> situation there. What happened there? Uh, <laughs> No, they were the. They were just talking. I just. I didn't want anything to happen. I just wanted to focus on, get on to the next play, and didn't want any penalties, nothing like that. So you kind of pulled them away a little bit, or just okay. a little bit. All right, good. <laughs> Make sure nothing bad happened. How did you end up at UCLA? Like when you were going through that kind of recruiting process, walking, figuring out where to walk out. Um, ended up at UCLA. That's a good question. Uh, Coach Dalton. He's a GA here. He's uh. Saw me at a camp. I'm from Hawaii originally, so they saw me at a camp in Hawaii, and then my senior year I transferred to Servite, and then I got a couple of small uh, offers, and then he contacted me. Just he said, "We have a walk-on spot here for you if you want to take it." And who wouldn't who wouldn't want to go to UCLA? So then I took it, and now here I am. How's it felt on the field? Did it take you a little while to get like you know your your feet there? A little overwhelming, a little fast. Um, I've been playing special teams, so I got my feet wet a little bit. So it was just it was the same thing as practice. Practice is up tempo as can be. So going into the game, it wasn't really much of an adjustment, if not any slower. Have you guys been surprised that maybe maybe you guys haven't been more up tempo in games based on the way you got played practices? Um, I think we go as fast as we can go, and if whatever Coach Kelly wants to do, that's how fast we're gonna go. How much do you talk to the guys that are out for the season just to you know? Um, the guys that are out for the season, they're, they're still they're around. They they help us. I don't know if, you, if I ever need anything, I could reach out to any one of them. I'm sure they'd help me without a hesitation. What was your family and friends' reaction to when you got your first? Team <laughs> uh, my mom, my mom sent me a video. She was watching on TV back at home, and she sent me a video. She was like, "Congrats, you played well." And I don't know, that's about it. Phone was kind of busy. So your your family's back in Hawaii still? Yes. What's your favorite part about playing for Coach Kelly? My favorite part? Uh, I'd say the way he develops all his players. He really genuinely cares about each and every one of us, and more than just a football player, but being a better person in the overall picture, like in life. I feel like him, uh, him coaching us and teaching us the ways, I feel like it has the biggest impact on me okay. on and off the field. What kind of challenges do you see from USC this week? Challenges? Yeah, I mean, what is the offense? Their offense present to you. Like. Um, they're they're a really good football team. They're I've known some of the players, played with them, played against them, but uh, they're really good. And we just we're out here practicing each and every day, and we're gonna go do what we can do. Who do you know personally on that team? Uh, one of my uh, buddies I played in high school linebacker with Jordan Yosefa. It's one of my like really really close friends. And then uh, another kid from Hawaii. Yeah. Uh, Parking any trash? No. Not yet. <laughs> not yet. No, probably not. It's coming.